Hi everyone, welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. Welcome to the Knitting Turnpike. My name is Gina Pike. I am so happy that you're here with us today. Hey everyone, I wanted to insert a quick little clip here. Um, I wanted to say I apologize for any little background noise that you hear in these videos. I was filming them and I forgot to turn my fan off because it's like July and it's Texas and it's hot. It's like almost 100 degrees today. So I had my fan on and I sat down to film and I was like, I didn't even realize that the the fan, I mean, I didn't hear it. I just didn't realize that the, the noise from the fan would pick up so well on my video and you can hear it. And I apologize for that. I hope it's not too distracting. So thank you for understanding. Today we're going to be talking about a project that I've been working on since January. Um, every month a new clue is, it's a mystery knit along. This pattern is by um, Elizabeth Ravenwood. This is called the 2021 Year of International Lace Scarf. And what she is doing is every month we get a new clue and every month we go to a new location and learn and get to knit some lace from that location. If you take a pic look at the picture, this is the introduction picture for the project. You can see that there are 12 different uh, uh, flags from different countries and each month we've been going to different places. So um, I do have other videos. I've been making a video uh, for each one of the different uh, clues every month. I will link all, all of those in the description box below if you're interested in learning a little bit more like about say January when we went to the Isle of Estonia. I go into a little bit more in depth there instead of doing all of the months again here. To this month I'm going to talk just about June. And um, I am a little bit behind. It is July. I, I was a little bit behind on these two pro these two monthly projects I do. So we're going to do June at the beginning of July. And then at the end of July, we're going to do July. So I hope that's okay. I'm just trying to get caught up here. Let's start out. In January, we went to Estonia. We did Estonian lace. We, we, um, Estonian lace is known for baubles. We did all of these beautiful baubles um, on the edge. We did... Um, because what, uh, we're making a scarf. What she had us do is she made us do two of them. So we have two edgings and uh, made the exact same way. We added beads and then we, uh, we could opt for beads on the flowers or we could opt for, for um, noops. And because it was Estonian, I opted for the noops around my flowers. All right, then in February, we went to the Shetland Isles off of Scotland and we made some fern lace. Ah, love this, gorgeous. In March, we went to Switzerland and we knitted some Swiss fan lace. And this was one of my favorites. I think it still is my favorite. I kind of think I'm thinking about making this part, this particular pattern into its own project later on. And any one of these you could take and make into their own pattern. Uh, April, we went to Spain, and there we knitted the Four Sisters Medallion Lace. Just lovely. In May, we went to Italy, and there we knitted the Lace Medallion, Italian Lace Medallion. And then we're to June, and that's where we are right now. We're gonna be going to the country of Japan and we're going to be knitting some Japanese lotus lace. And when I saw we were going to Japan, I'm like, oh, I've been knitting Japanese lace. I'm so excited. Okay, so this we knitted a different pattern here. This is um, off of the January in. So I, so I have, again, I have my Estonian lace. I have my February. Then I have April, which was um, Spain. And then I have... You can see what this is looking like. And then now I have the Japanese Lotus Lace. See if I can move some of my pillows here so I can hold this down. There we go. And that's what this looks like. This is the Japanese Lotus Lace pattern. 
I will get up closer. We, but first of all, we started again, if you guys remember, on each one of these, we've been doing the USA star stitch uh, as a border. So in between each one of these clues, we do this border stitch, and it's a USA star stitch border. Um, again, here we go. I'll get into J to Japan. Here's the star stitch. These, these rows here, eight rows. And then we get into this uh, Lotus Lace Medallion. And it was a 16 row repeat. And um, from here to here. And you did it three times, or four times, sorry. And hitting myself in the needle, the eye with the needle. And this is uh, what it looks like up close. It's a very interesting pattern. None of the stitches were hard. Um, you do have a couple of special stitches where you are, I don't know if you guys can see this, but in this part right here where you do these all line up, these are central, these are uh, some uh, different uh, variations of the central decrease stitch and I don't know if you guys have done this in knitting it's where you take two slip stitches you'll knit another stitch and you'll take those two slip stitches over the knitted stitch and I'm going to show you how to do that because uh, at the end in the stitches portion of that but there it leaves a kind of hard line around that decrease and then you can have yarn overs on each side but it makes it really crisp you can see it going all the way throughout, all the way through here, and all lining up. And when I block it, it these will all line up. Like that will all line up, that will all line up, and it will make a really nice open lace pattern. And that's it for June, for June the Japanese Lotus Lace Pattern. All right, we're to the special stitches portion of this video. All right, these are two variations of the CDD, the central double decrease. The first one is where you slip two stitches as if together at the same time, and then you knit a stitch, and then you pass those slip stitches over the knit stitch. All right, this is the, uh, this stitch is called the S2KP. It's a center double decrease. This is for the International Lace Scarf for the month of June. This is on the Japanese Lotus pattern. To do a S2KP, you slip two stitches together as if you're going to knit them. So you see you have one, two, slip them together to the right needle. Knit the next stitch. Then you take those two stitches that you slipped, whoops, and you pass them over that knitted stitch and it looks like that. Now a variation, another variation of that is when you do it, do that CDD, that central double decrease on the wrong side. So if it's on the wrong side to make it look like it does on the right side, you have to do opposite types of stitches. So this one, you're going to do what's called an S2PP and you're going to slip two stitches together through the back loop as if you're going to purl them through the back loop together. Then you're going to purl the third stitch. Then you're going to pass those two slip stitches over that stitch you just purled. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a mouthful of stuff just coming at you. So let me show you. It's much easier when you can see it. All right, I'm going to show you a new stitch. This is called the S2PP stitch. This is in the International Lace Scarf. Uh, you're going to, it's going to involve three stitches. You're going to insert your needle into these two stitches as if you're going to purl, to get, purl these two stitches together through the back loop. So like that, I'm on the back part of the stitch. Looks like that. And what you're going to do, instead of purling them together, oh, your yarn is in front as well. You slide them off onto your right hand needle. So you just slip those two stitches together. Then the third stitch you're going to purl like that 
and then you're going to take those two slip stitches and pass them over the purl stitch like that and that's a, it's like a center double decrease but purl wise that's what it looks like on the front side but you did it all purl wise on the back side and that's it that's all you do okay so I hope seeing those two types of decreases CDDs can uh, help you understand there's always more than one way to do a stitch and uh, even doing it on the wrong side to make it look like it's on the right side so um, that's why I share those with you the rest of the stitches in this month are very simple stitches uh, just knit stitches purl stitches yarn overs um, uh, slip slip knit knit two together um, that's really all that's in this this is a charted pattern um, but uh, it's a simple chart. It's a lot simpler because uh, the stitches, the wrong side is shown, and what you see is what you knit. This one is you knit, you do what you see. And so that makes it a little bit easier to do. So I recommend if you want to knit this, um, the pattern, the, the link to the pattern is in the description box below. Again, this is by Elizabeth Ravenwood. It will take you to a PayHip uh, website where you can purchase the pattern. I think it's US $6. And all the stuff that you get for this, this is all my pages and stuff. It's, I mean, we're just midway through. It's a lot of different patterns that you can pull from and use to make other projects. You know, like I like the Swiss Switzerland fan lace. I think that would be a gorgeous cowl or even a rectangular wrap. You know, I you could easily take that pattern, expand it, and make something else. Any of these are the, that type of pattern, and they're all lace. So I think it's a really uh, good investment if you want to learn different types of lace and uh, play with different types of lace patterns. And I'm enjoying going to the different countries and learning about them as well. Like um, just trying to think about the history of lace in that country. So anyway, thank you guys so much for letting me share this with you. I hope you have enjoyed it. And, um, and I hope maybe you'll want to pick it up and knit along with me. Um, if you are new here, this is your first time watching one of my videos. Obviously, I love to talk about knitting, a little bit about crochet. I do have some crochet projects on my hooks. We would love to have you join us. We do some yarn talk um, and hopefully going to be doing a few more lives this this a year. And uh, for those who are here all the time, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, you all are amazing and the best family on YouTube. Hope you have a lovely day. I hope all of you have get to do what you love to do, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care.